So plant coal, uh, plant coal, plant coal, plant coal, I believe. Really, I think that name needs to be a little better. Plant coal sounds kind of dumb, but it's, it is a business name and it's not really a brand name. So I guess it's okay because the public is not aware of it. But anyways, Yam Jobs just came up with, uh, Plant Co. came up with some news for Yam Jobs, which I thought was pretty interesting. But the stock didn't really move anywhere. But anyways, they opened a second Canadian location of a popular Yam Jobs grown, not raised, vegan butcher shop in Montreal, Quebec. Yam Jobs is a... Uh, is a wholly owned subsidiary of Plant Co. specialized in preparation, distribution, and retail of over 48 priority plant-based meat, chicken, pork, fish, and various other delicious vegan food products. And they're opening it up on Quebec. And Quebec has a population of 8.48 million people. But not only did they open in Quebec, they opened in Montreal, Quebec. Why is that important? Because Montreal has a population of 1.78 million people, which represents 20, almost 20, uh, I think almost 25, like almost 20, but like around 20% of the entire population of Quebec, which is pretty big. Which is really smart. Very good location to be in. Lots of people. So, uh, no, I'm two thumbs up for this move. I think the company is executing right. Uh, I'm hoping to see in the future them uh, open a location in the U.S. I think if if they announce some kind of U.S. location, I think the stock could pop in in stock price pretty heavily. But uh, we have to wait for that. But uh, they are expanding, they are opening up, and it's very good to see as a shareholder uh, for stock price. I already am a shareholder, and I am bag holding right now. But if this thing was to drop to like 45 cents, I'm definitely going to buy some more. If it drops to 40 cents, I'm going to buy some more. So that's my plan moving forward. I, I can't control what the market does. I just think that the company is undervalued for what it offers. But uh, just because I think it's undervalued doesn't mean the stock price will move. Investors make the stock price move. As long as investors buy, as mean like if investors don't buy, then the stock price won't move. It's just that simple. Or uh, if short sellers come in and short the stock, it can go down further. So I don't know what the stock price is gonna do, but I believe in the company long term, and uh, I will only add to my position on this stock. Uh, don't want to get too greedy unless the stock price goes down. I buy on red, sell on green. Uh, but this is a company I probably want to hold long term. So I want to see how the company grows as a business. And I'm very, very bullish on this company. I've done my research and I will, uh, you know, continue to do my research on this company. Uh, so we'll see what happens. So yeah, uh, you know. If the market continues to be green and keeps climbing and climbing and climbing, I might buy some more of this stock even at these prices because I feel like once the market hits a top and it doesn't move anymore, I feel like all that uh, people are going to take their profits and then they're going to start moving it into more speculation plays like v VGNC and uh, High Tide and uh, GTAC and you know, smaller companies, but for now, I think the bigger players get more of the attention because the, of the momentum moves, but this company will eventually get some attention, in my opinion, as long as um, they keep executing and showing investors that they, um, you know, they, are, they will be part of this big, giant, vegan uh, thing. I, be, I, I believe that this, I, I believe that this company has potential to be one of the biggest vegan companies in the world. Uh, it just de all depends on how they execute. I mean, if they have yam chops in all the right locations and their yam chop locations become extremely popular, like extremely popular, 
I feel like this stock could be multi-billion dollars and it can be easily like one of the best investments you ever make in your entire life. But of course I'm bullish because I'm a shareholder so I'm extremely bullish on this company. I feel like this is a really big winner. Uh, when I ran across this company it just clicked for me and then when I saw the franchise thing I'm like oh man I gotta buy some more of this stock but then the stock price dropped off. I mean, I f just talking about it makes me want to buy more of it. So, I don't know. Maybe I might buy a little bit more. So, we'll see. I mean, still thinking about it. Haven't actually pulled the trigger yet. But, really, really thinking about it. I really like this company. Uh, DB, uh, DB, this is like a more of a speculation play. The reason why I bought this is not because... I think that this is going to be the greatest company ever. I don't think that this company is going to be a leader in the market. I just feel like this company is undervalued compared to GTAC. Uh, they are very similar. They actually a better business than GTAC and they're under and they're valued way less than GTAC at fifty seven million dollars, while GTAC sitting at one hundred thirty seven million dollars. Of course, GTAC has. Jeremy and, and meet Kevin uh, So yeah, I can see why I can see why uh, GTAC, you know would be a better investment because of the investor exposure But this company is undervalued if you compare it to GTAC. That's why I bought it I have I'm not really super bullish on this company at all I just think that this is a better play than GTAC. That's why I bought into this instead of GTAC Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this thing, if this thing drops down to like five cents, six cents, I'm buying more because I think it's severely undervalued at five or six cents. So we'll see where the market pushes it. But I'm bullish on this one. I'm also bullish on High Tide. They are a leader in Canada. They're a leader in the U.S. Uh, and if MJ ever becomes legal in the U.S., this company would benefit big time from that. So we'll see what happens, but this company is posed for massive growth if the U.S. ever legalizes in, in the U.S. And Roger Grove is aggressively going into the U.S. And as an investor, exactly what I want to see. So, you know, I'm, that's why I'm so bullish on high tide. And their debt has gone down, their cash position has gone up. So the lower the high tide goes, the more of an opportunity becomes. You make money when you buy stocks cheap. You don't make money when you buy stocks expensive. You don't make money when you buy stocks when they're green. You make money when the stock has is like gone down quite a bit from its highs and looks you know you know, looks like a deal. That's when you make the most money. So I believe in this in the long term and if this thing keeps dropping, I am going to keep buying this stock. Uh, you know, can if Canopy go keeps going up, uh, I think will uh High Tide will keep going up too. That's just how the markets work. Canopy, Afria, Aurora, Sundial. What is Sundial doing? Sundial, Sundial. Oh, look at that! Nine point five cents, ten cents, eight percent up today. Uh, so obviously, uh, you know, like I said, High Tide should go up if sundial is going up high tide should go up but you know we'll see what happens like if high tide if sundial goes to like a dollar 58 dollar 59 i feel like high tide will go back to like 80 cents at least 80 cents in the short term so it's up to you what you want to do but i i really believe in this company i think that this is a company that will succeed long term gamestop is being pumped by rich people you should be aware of that but some people are like no you're an idiot it's retail investors they are buying up GameStop it's not rich people it's it's the poor people that are pushing up the stock price um okay if you believe that then you believe that not gonna argue uh, Caspar, I think they're having earnings uh, after the report I have a zero position with this one uh, it, uh, but, you know, Jeremy's invested heavily into this one, so maybe it's a good investment long term. I feel like it's not bad. If you compare it to GameStop, it 
it's not bad. It's not bad. They make about fifty million dollars of revenue, and they make about half a billion dollars of of revenue and fifty million dollars of profit. And we are in a pandemic, so lots of people playing video games right now. So that could be a good investment. Village Farms up 7.85%. AMC Entertainment up 10.32%. If GameStop keeps going up, AMC will keep going up. That's just how it works. Village Farms, uh, I still have a stock, I still have a position in this one. Um, you know, I'm up like a hundred plus percent because I bought it near the bottom. So, uh, with Mexico legalizing, I feel like this stock is going to head higher, even though the weed is like, eh, mediocre. But, uh, yeah, and ride, ride's gone down a little bit since I talked about it, but, uh, the lower it goes, the more of an opportunity it becomes. I'm definitely eyeing this one for a more, for a bigger position. And I'm also eyeing this one to make a bigger position. So we'll see what happens. I'm bullish on, on Ride. I think that Ride is a long term good investment, but short term, it's up to what big money wants to do at the end of the day, because I don't think retail investors are the ones that are gonna push this up. But I feel like if Tesla, Neo, and all the other EV stocks start going up, this stock will get, will get pushed, money will eventually push into this stock, and it'll go up. That's my opinion. Anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.